What is up guys, Johnny here. I got terrible news for you guys today. Spin My Swag, America's favorite show, is being canceled after six months. I decided I was not gonna do it again this month for a few reasons that I will explain in this video. But don't worry guys, we're still gonna spin the wheel today and we're still going to spend some gold of course. Now if you don't know what Spin My Swag is, at the start of every month since the start of 2019, I was going to the Pedro's Lucky Wheel and I spin 25 times and I had to make my own style with the stuff that I got in the Lucky Wheel only. I got some really interesting results like the Iron Man Rabbit there and it was a lot of fun. I went back to all my previous videos trying to see the swag that I got from the Lucky Wheel and yeah it was fun. I decided I was not going to do it again this month because first reason is I got a brand new swag and I really love it. This is my new superhero swag I just got a few days ago. Brand new legendary cape we got in the new bundle. And I did spin the wheel 25 times like a week or two ago uh, with the update 090. I wanted to see if there was new stuff in the lucky wheel. And I did spin the wheel. So another reason is I have a lot of cosmetics. I probably have around 100 hats. And even the back cosmetics and the front cosmetics, the belts, I kept pretty much everything, one of each, for about a year plus. So whenever I spin the lucky wheel, I usually end up getting only one new item. I remember the first spin my swag episode, I got some new cosmetic hats. I was really hyped, the llama hat, the rabbit hat I didn't have, and a few other items like that. It was cool for real, really exciting. But the last few times I spin the wheel, 25 times I got nothing new like the last two times I remember uh, having all duplicates so I mean I got better things to do with my gold I got I got gold but it's for my giveaways also I yeah, still need some emotes and I don't get emotes in the lucky wheel uh, the emotes I miss I should buy them instead but I figured with all the gold I spend in the lucky wheel every month I could buy two or three new emotes instead and that was gonna be more interesting for me well, I got two tokens here, so we're gonna spend them at least today. We're gonna spin the wheel twice to start. So let's go with one roll. Ah, uh, the smoke eater hat. Like again, it's really cool. I love the cosmetics and I get a lot of cool hats. But once again, I already had that. So what I said many times is the lucky wheel is cool for new players that don't have cosmetics. If you just unlock your inventory and you want to collect cosmetics, Spinning the wheel every month like that, you're gonna get a bunch of really nice stuff. But once you got pretty much everything, uh, it's tough to get new things. Alright, next one, the Jungle Ranger, also a cool one. Uh, but yeah, again, I have it. So it, it's, it's what it is. When I spin the wheel every month, I get 25 items that I already have. I get some trash items, the greens, the, the blue armor and weapons. Uh, sometimes I get some true patriots, so always looking for better perks, but that's pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna try to get all the emotes in the game. That will be a cool new project. So if you go on the left and you click on your emotes, you can change your emotes and it's gonna show you the list. Now what it says on top, it says unlock 40 out of 49. I don't know if there's 49 emotes total in the game. Sometimes the number is not updated. But then you scroll and you see all the emotes that you have. Uh, so yeah, I have a bunch of emotes already. But there's also, according to the list, there's also 9 emotes I don't have. So I could start buying some emotes every month with my gold instead. So the last update bring us some cool emotes. And there's a lot of legendary rarity. So Stingray Rodeo are the older ones a shadow gun stomp is a really old emote i think it's been there for over a year when the game came unplugged and hit the sack are the brand new emotes that just came out in 090 and unplugged has been removed i don't know if it's because it's bugged but they said it's gonna be back later hit the sack is always in the shop jolly roger i have no idea what it is i think it's not even in the game yet and Ch snake charmer magic carpet jump rope also from the previous update so i'll start with the older ones and see if i can find shadow gun stomp in the shop today that would be the first one and then maybe the the other legendary ones and by the way if you count the number of emotes that are not unlocked on my account it is nine 
So four epic ones and five legendary emotes. So there are 49 emotes in the game right now as we speak. So let's hunt for new emotes. I'm gonna start with Nitro, but really I wanna find the older one first. So there's the punching bag here, uh, but no shadow gun stone. There's also, uh, if you guys missing that one, share the love. It was only available for the Valentine event and uh, it's been a few months now and it just came back uh, in the shop. How you doing, man? Now let's check Pedro. Usually this guy's got some cool stuff. Right, still the punching bag. And there's a snake charmer, so I could buy these two for 2,000 gold. I think that's gonna be it, guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that, guys. I'm gonna go for the legendary one, because it's the only one available right now uh, in legendary rarity. Hit the sack. It's one of the new ones. Training hard. Let's go buy it. Your taste is inspirational, you know? And then I'm gonna look for the epics that I still need. And Snake Charmer is there, so I'm gonna go with the Snake Charmer. You made the right decision, man. Now let's go back on the emotes list. Change emotes. And you see the total updated. 42 out of 49, so I'm missing 7 emotes now. I'm gonna be looking for Shadow Gun Stump for sure before it disappears. I don't know if they're gonna ever remove stuff from the game, like Gun Forever. But still, it's the oldest one. I know sometimes you can find it in strong boxes. But I'll, I'm gonna keep looking. Now, one more thing I can do with my gold is buy the surprise strong boxes. Because what they say, and this is really interesting compared to some other boxes in the game. The legendary strong boxes, the description says you will receive something that's listed in the box. No keys needed. When you buy, it's already unlocked. And it always drop uniques until uniques run out. That means they will not give you a duplicate. They cannot give you something that is already in your inventory. And that's a reason I tell you guys to keep one of each cosmetics and keep one of each paint buckets that you have. Don't dismantle, don't sell, don't get rid of. Because when you ever see something you want in these boxes, you have a much better chance to get it if you already have a bunch of stuff. So I think I have pretty much everything except the new paint. The Bonfire Blaze, it's a dual paint. I think it's black and orange. You're gonna see it right there. They preview the stuff, by the way. And the Zilch hat, if you guys miss it, there's the one. It's red and orange. But yeah, the hat used to be an event reward and it was not in the game. It came back in the ads machine. Now it's in the strong one. So I'm gonna buy one. I think I have everything except that, so we will see. Uh, but then when you have everything, I think they give you uh, Lucky Will tokens, right? So opening strong box, probably my only one I need. And this is the Bonfire Blaze dual color. So it's not the black and orange. The black and orange was in the casino. This is orange and red. But yeah, I'm not going to use it because I could, but... I don't think it's a good idea because my pants, there's a, the blue parts, they will stay blue no matter what. So I decided to use the blue and red paint instead. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's not bad, but I'm going to leave it as it was. It actually is really cool because it fits with the hair, but not today. I'm going to keep it. That's it for today. And before I leave, I will go for a recap of all the previous swags I got from the Spin My Swag episodes. That was from episode 1, again, the rabbit with the red shift paint bucket and some lion skin gold armor. Uh, it really is one of my favorite this year. Uh, episode 2 was not the best. It was the, I don't know, the alien dude. I, I was not so lucky that time. A couple paint buckets, I had the, the kilt and stuff. Probably the worst of the six. Uh, that was episode 3, also a pretty bad one, but I was super hyped to get the llama hat after the episode i end up doing the llama cop duels episode i don't know if you guys remember but with the swat vest uh, black military swag with the llama hat episode four was pretty cool the hulkster is something i never wear so it gave me a reason to wear it for for once and plus i had the blonde mustache so it really has the hulk organ feel episode five i didn't get a front cosmetic i got a blue bucket so i end up painting my character blue 
Uh, the mask is pretty cool, the belt, but yeah, not, not much to it. And that was the final episode, the Halo ODST style military black with the Explorer hat. Probably my favorite or my second favorite of the year. So that's it guys, six episodes and that's gonna be it. Maybe I'll be back later, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I got better things to do with my gold and I love my current swag anyways, so I will pass for now. So thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the show and the previous ones. I will be back with some other stuff anyways, you guys know I'll be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos, take care.